Hi everyone, it's Dr. Lakeisha Cole, and I'm here to talk to you today about the importance of loving yourself. Many of you have heard this phrase before, and I'm certain that it's pretty popular. Love yourself, self-love, self-improvement, but it's really something very important. And it's important to love the naked version of yourself. See, we are who we are. We've been where we've been. And that's who we are. And we will grow and we will expand our knowledge and we will be exposed to new things, new places, new people that will inspire and motivate a change in us but we're still who we are foundationally. I think it's very important to what I think is sort of like a face cleansing. When I wake up in the morning, I clean my face. I clean my face with water. Uh, I don't use a harsh soap or anything like that. Um, there are some natural um, face cleansers. And, uh, you know, I'll put things on my face like uh, coconut oil or, um, you know, lemon juice. Sometimes uh, mixed with a little bit of water. But, you know, just things from nature. I don't really put a lot of things on my face that, um, you know, have a lot of additives or things that I don't really know what they are. Um, I like to just, you know, uh, put like a, just a basic, uh, lotion moisturizer on my face. And when I look at my face every day, I see Lakeisha. That's who I see. And it feels good to be able to look at myself and see all of the natural impurities. You know, just the natural dark marks, the natural, um, I don't know if they're freckles or a little bit of both, uh, moles. Those are the things that I recognize when I look at my face. And... When I keep my face moisturized and I don't have like a real high fatty, sugary, salty diet, I notice just me from my face. I notice that a lot of the things that I notice on my face, they just... I don't know, just seem to naturally clear up. And so I was thinking as I teach human anatomy and physiology that our face is exposed to a lot of external factors, a lot of toxins, things outside in the environment that our skin absorbs. The skin of the face, it absorbs. And there are a lot of internal factors that our body is exposed to that also affects our face because internally it works outward to reflect what's on the inside. And in considering loving ourselves, everything that we're exposed to, everyone, everywhere, everything. It is a reflection of who we are and how we react to things, what we're exposed to, um, and how it affects us externally and internally. You can see that reflected outwardly. And a lot of times, our negative and positive reaction to those things tell us a lot about who we are. 
And it's those things that we don't like that we really have to pay attention to and work toward changing for the better while still being able to be yourself. Um, just maximizing your potential, expanding your knowledge, but staying true to who you are and just expanding. I've noticed a lot about myself, honey. Um, a lot of good things, a lot of things that I've been disappointed in, uh, that I have changed and turned around and still work every day to make sure I change it. But I was just uh, thinking about it while I cleaned my face earlier today. And, uh, of course, you know, you can see I have washed my hair. It's in the process of air drying. But, um, yeah, I was just thinking about so much about life and myself and you know other people and um you know just the things that we all experience in life that we have to go through and you know what might be a challenge for us what might be you know just progress and the process of change over time it's a lot to think about uh, every single day and of course you only can take one day at a time so uh, you know just staying with that focus it's important to you know love yourself every day and check yourself every day and just you know embrace who you are and um, you know, learn, do some research, and, you know, try to improve. I'm right up under the light so you can see, you know, this is my face, <laughs> my hair, all of that. I cut it. I sure miss my long hair. But um, anyway, uh, I do. I just hope that we all you know, try to go in a positive direction. You know, I do. I, I get it. You know, drama, it can be fun and entertaining and everything. But, you know, sometimes when you just think about how, you know, for those who have children, those who mentor other people, you know, you have peers who look up to you, it's just difficult to entertain such things in my opinion, for me, and still feel good about you know, people coming behind me and how, you know, what they see and what they hear, you know, it has effect on them. And sometimes it doesn't have a positive effect on them when they see their mentors and people just act in any kind of way. Um, but I find that, you know, as I always say, we don't live in a perfect world. No one's perfect. We're all a work in progress. So, um, you know, that kind of stuff, it just comes, it happens, whatever. I get it. But, uh, <clears throat> I really... Just think about, you know, at 43 years old, um, the past 10 years, I was a different person. You know, the 33-year-old Lakeisha was different. And she saw things differently than the 43-year-old Lakeisha. I have a lot of different experiences that I have now. And thinking about that it's like you are the same person but you're different and hopefully different in a better way in a much more mature way versus not 
And um, I just think about a lot of the things that I face right now at 43 years of age and how just 10 years ago, you know, a lot of the things that I'm doing now, I wasn't doing. Um, I was thinking differently. I wanted different things than I want now. And um, it's just amazing how, you know, a lot can happen in, in a decade of your life. And uh, all you can do is just look at the years that you've overcome and, you know, just things that you've done and how that set you up for where you are now. And what you're doing now will set you up for the next 10 years of your life. And so, you know, if willing... Um, if it's in the destiny of my life at 53, I'll be a completely different Lakeisha than I am now. And, um, you know, sometimes you meet people in life and places in life and things that happen to you. You meet them at a certain age of life. And it's like, you know, the things that I met in my life at 43, um, I didn't know at 33. And, you know, I have a different mindset, a different attitude. Uh, I've achieved, you know, different things that make me look at life differently. And sometimes, you know, like I said in another earlier video, you come so far just to feel like, you know, I don't know if it's better or not, but it's just different. And you achieve these things and you get a little older and you just start acting differently, you know, wanting different things, caring about different things. And... Mm, you know, it's just a lot going on uh, with me right now. And like I said, you know, I just try to take life one day at a time because, you know, what I dealt with yesterday is not what I'm dealing with today. And whew, that's um, why I just try to stay in a positive mind um, as much as possible because it just so much changes, you know, in 24 hours. I, I was just talking about 10 years, but within a 24, 48 hour period, a lot changes and a lot happens with people and in your own life. And you can really see how it's just affecting things. Um, you know, the attitudes and, um, you know, the way that life is interpreted by yourself, people you love, people you've known for a long time, and you can see yourself changing, they're changing, and, you know, it produces different decisions. And, um, you know, those decisions have different reactions, you know, in life that affect you and your future and uh, going forward. But, um, yeah, you know, I guess this is just kind of like a think out loud, um, you know, I really wish, um, for the peace sometime that I feel like is a little distant in a day for me I it makes me just want peace for other people you know like I'm one of those people when I feel something and it's not as enjoyable like I it brings out a good in me because it's like I don't want other people to feel like that 
you know, I don't, I don't want people to feel miserable because I feel miserable today. Like, I don't. It's just, like, kind of the opposite. Like, oh, I feel so, ugh. You know, and then it just makes me want to go out and do something really nice because I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't want anybody else to feel like this. And if there's one little thing that I can do that might bring a smile to somebody's face, if I'm not smiling on the inside, it just brings out a real natural um, smile for me. You know, seeing somebody else smile. And it usually does. It changes my day. It transforms, you know, what I'm going through right at that moment. And I find it helpful for me. But, um, yeah, so... I mean, even now, I just feel better just doing this video. Um, but I hope you're having a great day, whoever you are in the world watching this video. I hope things are going well for you. And if you're having difficulties or a challenging moment, just like I've had, I really hope that you keep your focus and your attention at what you do have that you can be grateful for and why it's so important to you and how it can help you feel better, you know, um, now and later. So have a wonderful day and remember speak positively to others and feel positively about yourself. Love yourself, appreciate yourself and just remember that, you know, life it is, it's a journey and every day you're learning something new to take you into your future. So have a great day and I'll be doing videos later on. Bye.